Hola, people. Uh, this is probably going to be my first Destiny video that's not the warm-up. Uh, I just wanted to make this video because uh, I keep seeing people uh, circulating around. Like uh, People keep saying that you can't get the triple 100. And I'll probably put it in the title or something. But uh, I wanted to uh, show you guys that the triple 100 is still possible in Season 11. And going forward I'm still I'm still gonna have my triple 100 all the way up until season 14 until the raid armor gets uh, sunset so I want to take the minute and then uh, go over my build show you guys everything and go over what I'm gonna be using this season pretty much so yeah let's take a look <sighs> turn off the webcam don't really need to see my bald head so if all of your stars align, the triple 100 is still possible. 100 mobility, 100 recovery, 102 intellect. <laughs> Alright, so my build right now, these are my stats for all my, all of my armor pieces. Distributed very well. And there's where I'm using my powerful friends, because I'm only allowed to use one now. So, that's the armor. And like I said, as you can see, it's it's all distributed like very well. Like if all of your stars align, I I, wa I really want people to know that you can still get the triple 100 because I think it would still be something that people should grind for and I mean it's not gone and I keep hearing that that like oh we can't get triple 100 or can't get triple 100 anymore because we can't stack powerful friends on multiple pieces of armor <laughs> well I only got one and I got triple 100 so but uh yeah I, I, I really I really want that to be set in stone that if all of your stars align you can still get it, but besides that point, this is uh this is kind of the, the what I've been using this season so far. This is what I'm gonna be using in trials. Actually, today here in a little bit. Um, I use Graviton on forfeit just because I, I like being invis for longer, and because it's the distribution allows me to keep my triple 100. So I've gotten used to it. Tether, not all that fucking great, but. Uh, so, the w uh, weapons that we're rocking is, uh, Redrix and Felwinters. I spent, like, two weeks trying to get Redrix before the new season dropped. And I'm glad I did because it's, it's amazing now. So we're using Redrix, and this is just the default one. The one you get from the quest line. That's just what I've been using. Uh... It's bugged right now. I think Mtash just made a video about it. I noticed it too because I was actually going to save all my Crucible tokens uh, to get like more rerolled from Shax, but it's not even a loophole anymore. So, yeah, I only got one that I got when I would try to roll for one uh, before the season ended. So these are two I'm working with, but I uh, I usually just use the default one, and then obviously Felwinters. So it's I mean it's a goat right now. You got quick draw and Vorpal on a high impact shotgun. Just take down supers, take down any guardian one shot, like you know. uh, my heavy aim kind of just is whatever. Just been kinda haven't used Queen Breaker in a while, so uh just put it on. Have some having some fun with it. Mainly because I have my Enhanced I'm pushing rifle aim on my chest. So I try to stick with I uh, wanna either get use Queen Breaker or I'm thinking maybe a thousand voices. <laughs> but on my armor. Uh got obviously grabbed on forfeit. We're running tether by the way too. So every single time I dodge with my one hundred mobility, we go invis for even longer. Uh I I I've just been getting used to that, so that's what I've that's what I'm running. 
recovery mod. I mean, enhanced scatter projectile. The 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 mods this season are so cheap. It's it's so amazing because along with this, I'm able to run enhanced shotgun targeting too to help out that fucking handling um, the cylinders. Um, arms. I I need fastball now, so fastballs on all my arms. I, I, I'm just so used to it. Uh, just, I just put a pulse rifle loader on there because uh, it's one. I'm using a pulse rifle and I need an arc mod. I would use the enhanced, but I would lose my powerful friends. And with already having outlaw on the pulse rifle, Redrix, it's not really a problem. So normal one pulse rifle loader gives me my extra 20 mobility, powerful friends, all that good stuff. <laughs> on my chest. Um, I got the other seasonal mod, seasonal artifact mod, the enhanced and flinching rifle flame, like I said. And I got overload grenades on. I'm not even sure if these work in, uh, PvP, but they might. I don't know. I would have them on. I can't put anything else in this slot. So, and that's because of this. I've been using high energy fire w along with this taking charge and uh, I don't know if you guys have uh, like seen what that can do in PvP but the red is in for like 36 the head and if I get like a charge with light with high energy fire I think my red is hitting like almost 42 42-ish I think so that's fun so I've been playing around with that I could switch this chest to an arc and put on enhanced unflinching uh, a shotgun aim or something, but I don't know. I'm having fun. Keep the overload on. Just pray, like hope that they actually do something. Uh, on my legs, I don't have any scavenger. I used to, but I swapped it out with taking charge. Got to have traction. Can't play without it. And simple recovery mod. And on my cloak, this is why I used to have my powerful friends, and they used to be running different other um, mods down here, like for gaining super energy back. But this lovely, lovely, lovely artifact mod came back this season called Oppressive Darkness. We all know what it does. Uh, my mic just cut out. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know where I cut out at, but I was saying we all know about Oppressive Darkness. This is uh, what I have on my cloak now. I run this with spike grenades, and it, uh, I think spike grenades do like, what, 22 damage? If, I, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, when they hit somebody. So the first tick of my spike grenades, when I stick them to the wall now, will do that initial 22 damage, and then they'll switch to the Oppressive Darkness damage, which is like 37 I think it's crazy spike needs melt having like melts and stuff so that's why I have this on it's just been fun it's been fun fun using not a hand cannon but as we all know Luke Smith yesterday announced that my good old baby Hawkmoon will be returning in the fall so I just want to let everybody know now that when that does come back, I don't care how bad it is, Redrix can go go take a hike because uh, this is this is the only uh, Hawkman's gonna be here in this slot on every class forever. Uh, if you know me, you know I've been waiting for this gun to come back. You've been seeing me go back in Destiny One and just fucking play around with it. Best gun in the game, best looking gun in the game. And, uh, it, yeah, yeah Hawkmoon's going to be amazing. I, I honestly can't wait. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I really want to say. I've actually been, like, thinking about, like, possibly doing recovs for people to, like, get their bills together, you know what I mean? Uh, but I don't know how interested people would actually be in that. I could give people pointers or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, let me know. 
if anybody would, would be interested, hit me up. Maybe I can help you out. Get you that spicy triple hundred if it's possible. I really want to build a website where it, it can read your armor. Because you used to be able to do this in Destiny 1, and I don't think Dim does it well now. At least not that I know of, because I, I, I looked. It, it used to, in Destiny 1, you used to be able to read, put in all your armor, and s see if it'll give you a tier 12 setup. And, and there's nothing like that right now in Destiny 2, and I just, man, I really, really wish there was, dude. If anybody <laughs> wants to build a website with me, man, I'm so down. Because I would love to just, like, get a piece of armor and know if it'll fit into this triple hundred build. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's that. I just want to show this off. I want to let people know it's possible. I want to show people what I'm doing this season. I'm going to be rocking Redrix. Uh, at least I'm a hunter. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're about to go get ready for trials because uh, that's going to be coming out here in about 40 minutes or so. Yeah, just wanted to... Uh, Make a video, you know what I mean? I just wanted to make a video about this because I feel like I had to. <laughs> yeah, anybody just, they say you can't get triple hundred anymore, tell them, just, just tell them, just sh show them a channel. And, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. They can watch the video themselves, you know what I mean? So, yeah, anyway, if you, uh, enjoyed, like, comment, let me know what you guys think. And, uh, let me know if you guys need, actually want want some help with your builds, because uh, it's something that I'm like actually very considering. So we'll see you guys later. Peace out.